afternoon here in Kampala, Uganda. My name is Nasuna Caroline and I take this opportunity to welcome you to our YouTube channel, HBMS TV, which is a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing with you the skills and knowledge you need about your health and also knowledge that you need about uh, uh, building uh, your business. Uh, my name is Nasuna Caroline speaking to you. I'm an accountant by profession and an entrepreneur and I'm an executive at the Team Elite Innovators, that is Team Elite Innovates. And today I'm going to share with us a very interesting uh, topic. I'm uh, into a business of uh, network marketing uh, and I've done this business for the last uh, four years. It's been an amazing journey along the way. I'm uh, a company executive and uh, I'm based here in Kampala. Uganda. So I want to uh, welcome everyone who will be able to view uh, this information from different uh, parts of Africa. We have our friends from uh, Zimbabwe, we have our friends from South Africa, we have our friends from Zambia, Kenya, and very many other countries that we work with. And I also encourage you to uh, engage in your teammates, so that they can always be able to get this information. So today, uh, I'm sharing with us a very interesting uh, skill that you need as a network marketer, and that is the skill of inviting, yeah? We're going to talk about the different inviting strategies. You realize that uh, if you do not talk to anyone about your opportunity, the amazing opportunity that you have, and the amazing op uh, products that we have on market, no one will come up and buy from you. So uh, what is inviting to start with? Inviting is uh, simply making appointments with the people you would want to know about your product that you're selling and also about the opportunity that you have to offer. Your offer, you have an offer, so you need to invite people to come and understand what it entails, the details about it, the benefits, and the strategy in mind uh, upon which we are going to uh, work with. So um, in, a, uh, in a Alliance in Motion Global and the Economy Driver Plan 2.0, the business that we are doing requires you to invite uh, for different reasons. We are going to see why we need to invite as we go on. But before you even proceed, who do you invite? Yeah, You need to invite your friends, you need to invite your family, you need to invite the acquaintances and new contacts that would be interested in what you have to, to offer. So, um, you realize that we have one of the great tools that you need to use, and uh, that is a name list. That when you have your active candidate list, the name list or the, uh, the list of, of your contacts, you need to go in a chronological order to invite them. Um, considering the reasons why different people join in our business, uh, why uh, different people come on board with the economy driver plan. The people who would basically be interested in the products, the people who would be interested in uh, making money, and the, the, the very many primary motivating factors. The people who are interested in personal growth and development associated with our opportunity. The people who are interested in uh, in uh, in uh, leadership, uh, trips and travel incentives. So it is very very important for you to align or to design your invitation basing on what you would think would. Uh, uh, would primarily motivate your prospects to uh, like what you have to offer, to like your, your business. So uh, why do we need to invite? It is very, very important that for you to sell any product, yeah, to earn money from retail sales, you need to do what? To invite. So that is why you need to invite. The other reason why we need to invite is it requires you to uh, uh, invite to sponsor someone that for you to get someone to say I'm interested in joining you you will have taken them through the invitation inviting them to come and see what you have to offer the other reason is uh, the more people you show your business and they buy the more you will have to join your business and the bigger 
your team uh, will be able to grow. The other reason is not everyone uh, you invite will be interested, but they can be able to recommend you uh, or refer people to you that uh, can be interested. So as we invite these people, we should uh, also look at the referrals they can give you and the recommendations that they can give you. Yeah, the other thing that we need to know about inviting, when you're making appointments, yeah, not everyone you invite turns up, but you have to have it on your daily revenue generating activities. Because uh, today you invite, some come, some don't. Tomorrow you invite, same thing happens. You need to, to keep growing and it is one of the most key skills that you need to develop as a leader and as a networker. So uh, we are going to learn about different strategies for inviting, yeah? So you have to massively, uh, continuously invite to increase the numbers of the new people joining your business and the people you're exposing the opportunity to. So it is very, very important to have it among the key things, the key activities you have to do on a daily, on a daily basis, yeah? Moving forward, um, who do you invite? I simply summarized that you invite friends, you invite family, you invite people you have met as uh, uh, strangers because you build relationship in the process of prospecting with the aim of you showing them your, your business. Uh, you also have, uh, invite acquaintances, acquaintances are people who are neither your close friends or family members but somehow you know them or they have been referred to you by other people so you realize that when you invite someone yeah i love this uh, a quote that a prospect is not the only prospect but whoever else they know is also a prospect so they can be able to recommend you given the fact that uh, they know uh, what you're dealing with, the company you're dealing with, the products you deal in, and they are uh, well aware of how to make money, the compensation plan offered by your company. So they can always, uh, do not be afraid to ask for a referrals. Who do you know that would be interested in what we have to offer? So you can as well be able to invite acquaintances and the strangers who later on turn into serious business builders when you build a, a good relationship with them. So uh, who to invite? We have different uh, categories of uh, uh, markets. They are classified into uh, three. We have the warm market and the warm market, these are the people you already know, yeah, that they are your friends. They are those close warm market people that you know them very well that you would simply um, talk about what you know they like most for you to invite them for your opportunity yes so this include friends uh, workmen uh, churchmen neighbors we have your hobbies and orgies the people you started with we have different professionals we have service providers those people who provide services to you, you need to share with them an opportunity to earn an extra income to add on to uh, what they already have. Are we together? So uh, the home market prospects, yeah? And then um, home market referrals, which I earlier on uh, hinted on the referrals, that whoever you know and you have been able to expose them to, uh, you have been able to present to them what you deal with, what the opportunity entails, you can go ahead and ask for referrals. So these are contacts given to you by the people you know, especially those you have shown business to. When uh, someone has been able to, uh, to be exposed to all the details of uh, the economy driver plan, you can go ahead and ask them, who do you know that would love the product? Who do you know that you think can also be able to benefit from our compensation plan? Yeah. 
so you can be able to ask for referrals and then um, still in the category of home market we have uh, guest referrals we have new distributor referrals when you have someone who has joined they can be able to refer you to people they know that we can work work with yeah and uh, on this I'll talk about uh, part-timers we have very many people who join our teams who join the business and they're doing business on a part-time basis as it is your role as a leader to ask for referrals from them and show them a strategy of how you're going to support them uh, help them build the business moving forward uh, the second category of the people we invite we have the cold market the cold market these are basically uh, strangers strangers uh, people you have just met and uh, new friends that you hardly know that you would give yourself time to first get to know them uh, build a relationship with them uh, get to know what they're interested in yeah so do not rush on inviting someone you have just met someone you have just met uh, do not rush inviting them for your opportunity why so many of them keep disappointing you not turning up is that you rush inviting them before you even know them very well so when you prospect someone who is new first get to know about them what do they like their family what do they do you don't know uh, what someone does yet and you're rushing to invite them for the opportunity yeah someone told me that someone blessed them and they tell them they, they ask them who told you that i need an opportunity so for strangers invitations or called market invitations to be uh, to be effective you will need to give yourself some time before you invite this person uh, to come and uh, learn about uh, what you do first get to know them and make them your friends yeah so where do we get the, the cold market people the cold market prospects yeah as we move wherever we are we go there are people everywhere so uh there is uh this saying that do not go prospecting prospect as you go so when uh, you are moving when you go shopping when you go party there are people there yeah and those are all potential people you would in the near future uh, invite for for your opportunity then uh, uh, we have facebook which is a great tool today that we use to build business there are billions of people who are active facebook users in uh, various countries so it is a tool that you're going to use uh, to prospect and invite people to come and understand what you have to offer to even expand your business to other countries and with this i actually send my regards to all my facebook friends and the people whom today we are building strong business with and they joined us via facebook yeah we have uh, um we have a uh, whatsapp groups and all these are uh, online uh, uh, media and uh, platforms they are great sources of uh, uh, of cold market prospects and we can use the same platforms to invite invite them yeah so how do you invite that will be the last part of my my training today yeah you the, the most recommendable way to invite is by you giving someone a phone call you call them yeah so phone calls are the most important uh at the most important tools or uh, ways of inviting so uh it uh, it confirms your identity and it is easy for someone to draw excitement over the phone so give a phone call to someone tell them hello uh let me say i'm talking to my friend called uh, called Sissy. I'll tell them, hi Sissy, I, uh, how are you? I have this amazing opportunity that when you understand all the details about it, I know it will be of benefit to you. The reason why I'm calling is to set an appointment for us to meet and I share with you the details. Yeah. Today we have online uh, 
uh, presentations running and training. If it is online, tell them. I would love to share with you a link and I want to make sure that you log in via Zoom, via Google Meet at this time and we are hosting one of the most knowledgeable people about this amazing opportunity that I'm sure when you understand it, it will be of a great benefit to you. It can be able to generate extra income for you. It can give you a chance to travel. It can give you a chance to work with the people you care about to give you a chance to improve your health remember at the beginning i told you it's about aligning the primary motivating factors what primarily motivate people to join network marketing to this kind of person that you are inviting so make a phone call Make sure that every single day you have a list of people that you're going to call and set your numbers. Let us say you have you have uh, you have set yourself a goal that every single day I'm going to invite five people or ten people. Live up to it consistently and make those calls. And then uh, the other way on how to invite, you can use text messages and using. Uh, 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 text messages that is to do with social media facebook whatsapp make sure that you formulate a very good a uh, text yeah to invite this person to attend the presentation then the other way is you can as well be able to invite someone physically yeah when you personally meet someone and uh, you ask them uh, to attend your event yeah this works most especially with the events let us say you have uh, organized a mega event yeah uh, i'm going to give an example of uh, zambia yeah you have a mega event every month in Osaka, yeah at a specific hotel and it's very very important that you enlist some people that you would physically reach out to highlight them about what is going to happen do not go ahead and present and edify the speakers that are going to be uh, uh, that are going to be uh, sharing on that event. That also works. However, the most recommended way of inviting is a phone call. Yeah, make a call and invite someone. Yeah. So um, you can consider the following as I, I conclude. <laughs> as I conclude. Uh, these are very very uh, key points to note yeah that if you don't invite yeah you're going to end up not having any um, any revenue coming in yeah you don't going to make money out of the business because the only way we can expose our opportunity to our, our prospects and our clients potential clients and prospective customers is by inviting them setting an appointment yeah setting an appointment to take them through uh, what you have to offer so uh, consider inviting for sales consider inviting for one-on-one -on -one meetings yeah let us say someone is busy in their schedule they can spare off an hour to listen to you reach out to them yeah make an appointment to meet them somewhere and later on, as you go ahead to follow them up, you can invite them to your office later. The people we meet online, yeah, uh, make, an, uh, make it a point that you would make an appointment, invite them to meet offline, to see your offices and uh, where you are best. And then consider inviting for group presentations. We have an amazing program that every single day we have Google Meet presentations at 1 p.m. Make it a point that you do not just attend as a member, but you have your friends attending with you to expose them to the opportunity. Yeah, that this opportunity gives us a chance that you can even work from home. As your home, set appointments so that in this online presentation, you have someone understanding uh, the opportunity and we, what we have to offer also consider inviting for team events 
that let us know we organize an event in Eastern Uganda. Ambale team, I know you're there and you're going to be able to view uh, this training. Yeah, make sure that you invite massively for such events because they are organized once in a while. And then uh, 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 consider inviting for company events. They are very, very important uh, events that are, uh, are hosted by the company itself at the main office and that our visionaries team headquarters here in Uganda invite massively. Make sure that you saw this event to all the people you have met on a one-on-one -on -one basis and then um, the people whom you have shown business to but they're in the pipeline of raising the money. And lastly, consider inviting uh, to meet people uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis uh, maybe on an arrangement of organizing with your upline to meet them and uh, to meet star performers of the industry. Yeah. So you realize that when you reach out to these people, invite them, you can, it can help you grow your business and with that you have uh, people in the pipeline to view and see, uh, understand what you have to offer. Inviting is a very, very important skill that among your money making activities you, we should all consider very very seriously so let us reach out to as many people as possible to share with them the good news of this opportunity to share with them how this opportunity can impact on their lives and uh, I want to uh, say God bless you so much and uh, let us stay uh, tuned in, uh, keep, uh, uh, keep yourself updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel at HBMS TV, Talking Health, and uh, our, another YouTube channel at uh, uh, Elite Innovators, that is the Elinovats uh, YouTube channel for uh, keeping you posted and for such great material that you can use to build your business. Uh, God bless you so much.